Okay, the first video that we're going to be uh, that I'm going to make here is for the first section, and that's uh, solving linear equation systems graphically, meaning the graphical method. It should be a review for most of you. And what I'm going to do is just start with a simple question here and work it out. So the, the question that I'm going to do is I'm going to solve 2x minus y is equal to negative 5. It's going to be my first uh, equation. And then I'm also going to have my second system equation being uh, 2y minus 3x. is equal to 9. I'm hoping that this will be big enough for you to see uh, clearly. So what we're going to do for the first step that when you solve systems graphically is you have to make two table of values to be able to draw a graph of each of these lines. So what I tend to do is I solve for a variable and then make a table of data to come up with some points. So what we'll do here is we'll take x and y and we'll put our equation here in the middle for figuring out our, our uh, points. And we're going to figure out three points. As you know, for any line, you only need two points to make the line. But it's nice to have that third point in there to check to see if you're doing it correctly. So I'm going to solve this for y. So if we bring y over here, y will be equal to, if I bring add y here, add y here, and then I add 5 here and add 5 here, I get y is equal to 2x plus 5. So my first point that I'm going to use is I'm going to use 0 for x. So when x is 0, 2 times 0 plus 5, y equals 5. So our first point is 0, 5. So that's one point for that line that we can use. Our second point that I'm going to use, I'm going to choose negative 3. If I take a negative 3 and I put 2 times negative 3 plus 5. I get negative 6 plus 5, which is a negative 1. So my second point is negative 3 and negative 1. And my third point for that line, in this case, I'm going to choose a positive 1. I'll choose just 1. So 1, 2 times 1 plus 5. So that's 2 plus 5, which is equal to 7. So this is probably a review for most of us, but there are the three points that we can now graph for that line. I'm going to do the same here for li uh, line number two. With line number two, I'm going to make a new table right beside here, x, leave some space, put my y here, and I'm going to rearrange this one. Now, this one here has a two coefficient and a th negative three coefficient, so you're going to have to do some dividing in there. So I'm going to solve for y again. So if I do some rearranging, that would be 2y is equal to 9 plus 3x. Then simply put, I can divide both sides by 2. So then if I do that, I get y is equal to 9 plus 3x all divided by 2. And I'll make my chart here now. Okay, now... One thing you want to do when you're choosing points to go in for the x is that you want, because there's a 2 on the bottom here, it'd be nice if you choose something that would make it work out to an even number that you can graph, rather than having a halves and fractions, which are much more difficult to graph. So that would mean I'm going to choose numbers that uh, are odd in here, then that way I'll get an even number on top, and when I divide by 2, I'll still have an even number. So for example, if I put uh, negative 3 in for x, let's say, negative 3 would be 9 plus 3 times negative 3 all over 2, the whole thing. So that's 9 plus negative 9, which is 0 over 2, which is 0. Okay, then if I do, I'll choose, I guess, a negative 1, another nice number. So negative 1 in this case, that would be 9 plus 3 times negative 1 over 2. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, and we add that to 9. That would be 6. 6 over 2 is 3. And then we got our final point. Let's choose a 1, a one here. So this would be 9 plus 3 times 1 
over 2. So that would be 9 plus 3, which is 12 over 2, which would give us a 6. So we then have our three points for, our, for this line, line number 2, at being negative 3, 0, negative 1, 3, and 1, 6. Okay, now what I would do then is I would now graph these onto the same piece of graph paper, the same Cartesian plane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw here a Cartesian plane and I'm going to use um, a bit of a fatter marker here so that we can see that easily. And hopefully I'll have enough spaces here so that we can see this good. So there, always when you're doing Cartesian plane sketches or drawings, uh, you want to make sure that you label your axes so you, you don't get confused. So there's my X and Y axes. I'm just going to check the video to make sure you can see that. Okay, it looks good. So what we'll do then is I'm going to graph uh, line number one here in, this, in the same color, this black pen that I'm using. So 0, 5. 0 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 would be right here. X is the first point, Y is the second point. Then I want negative 3, negative 1. So negative 3, that means going back on the X, 1, 2, 3, and down 1. So I'll put it right there. That would be enough to make a line, but let's make a third point to see if it falls in line. 1, 7. 1, 5, 6, 7 is right there. Now if I take my ruler and I line those three points up, they should line up perfectly, and they do in this case. Okay, and then what I want to do is I want to draw this line in here. And because it's a line, you should have arrows on both ends. It goes on forever and ever. So what we'll do then is we'll label this line now. I'm going to label it down here. And I'm going to simply label it as line 1. Okay, and then I'm going to change my pen here to a different color. So let me just pull out a, another colored pen if I can find one that will be a different color here. I think I'll use this here marker. It's going to be a red one. Okay, and I'm going to draw in my second line and then graph these three points. Now, negative 3, 0 is right here. That's that first point. Negative 1, 3 is right there. Oh, we can see that it's going to intersect there. Well, that's nice. And obviously 1, 6 would be our last one. So 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 goes right there. And I'm going to draw in this line in the red marker. It's a little fatter than my other pen. I should have. So I'm going to just try to get it exact here. So there is the red line. And I'll draw my arrows on there. And you can see that this red line now represents uh, the linear system equation that we had for equation number two. Uh, if you like, you can always write your equation down as well. But if you have it labeled like this, that would be good. Now we can see that it intersects at a point. So we know that the intersection point is given to us right there where they intersect. That was negative 1, 3. Okay, now we had an opportunity to put negative 1 into the second equation and we knew it worked. So we should check both equations before we, before we leave this problem to see if it fits into both line equations. So if I put it back into equation number one. So I'm just going to do a little check here on the side. I'm going to check point negative one and three. Now it already worked here for equation number two. So equation number one is 2x minus y is equal to negative five. So two times x, which is negative one, minus three, which is y, equals negative 5. And we can see that negative 2 minus 3 equals negative 5. So that's negative 5 equals negative 5. So this would be uh, our solution. So we could say our solution is going to be simply 
negative 1, 3. And that's our first example.